Okay, we're right in the middle of problem number 11. We'd written our two ordered pairs. We found that x was hours because this said three hours later. So right now we called zero or at the beginning of the day zero, three hours later, three. And like I said, that could be 8 and 11. That could be 9 a.m., 12 p.m. You know, it could be any numbers as long as one's three bigger than the other. We started out with 700 popcorn containers. After three hours, we had 400. So I can see this is going down. So it's not surprising to me when I started doing the slope before I realized the video was um, done that it's going to be a negative slope, right? 400 minus 700. And that's because the popcorn tain popcorn container pile is going down as they sell more and more popcorn. So it started at 700 and now it's down to 400. So it's going down. So second Y minus the first Y over second X minus the first X. So that would be negative 300 over three which comes out to be negative 100. And then the second thing, remember, we're supposed to do is label that. So I always put my y per x here. Get it all labeled. So popcorn containers per hour. So remember how I said you should use the word increasing when it's a positive slope or decreasing when it's a negative slope when you're not like finding a, you know, like a per hour thing. So this one's going to use the word decreasing. And do you also remember when we were talking about slope on the front that we said you never put a negative when you're writing the word sentence? You use a word that means negative, like decreasing, going down, diminishing, something. So we never, in a sentence, use the negative. So when we're writing rate of change, yes, we use the negative. And I switch to M here instead of rate of change, didn't I? I mean, they're the same thing, but I really should be using rate of change since the problem does. So we could say the number of popcorn containers is decreasing by 100 containers per hour. How about that? So we can't use the negative. We use a word that means negative, like decreasing. So the number of popcorn containers is decreasing, or you could say going down, by 100, no negative, because that's what this is. That's decreasing means negative containers per hour. So in other words, they're selling approximately 100 containers of popcorn per hour at the concession stand at the amusement park. Okay. So you guys understand the decreasing in place of the negative in the sentence. So when I just say, what's the rate of change? This is what you write. When I say write a sentence, then you take the negative out and use the word decreasing instead. Okay, let's go ahead and do number 12. Oh, we gotta do negative 100 and popcorn containers. So there's our negative 100 and popcorn containers per hour. Okay, down to our final three. So number 12. On November 1st, so we could call this one, right? Arthur had 180 friends on Facebook. He checked 10 days later. So if this is one, what would this have to be? 10 days later. One plus 10 is... 
11. A lot of students do that wrong the first time they put 10. But if you're going to call November 1st 1, 10 is only 9 days later. So you have to add 10, which means the second X is going to be 11 because dates, time are always the X. He had 30 total friends. Oh, how sad. He lost 150 friends. That's sad, isn't it? So the order pair would be 1, comma, at, on November 1st, he had 180 friends. And then 10 days later, November 1st, 1 plus 10 is 11. On November 11th, he had 30 friends. Okay, so let's bring those over to this next page. So November 1st, 180 friends. And 10 days later, 1 plus 10, 11, 30 friends. So this is days. First day, second day, and 180 is friends on Facebook. Okay, so find the rate of change. So do you think the rate of change is going to be positive or negative? Is the value going up or down? Down, right? So I bet this is going to be a negative slope too. So when something's going down, it's a negative slope, like the pile of popcorn containers was going down. His friends are going down. So should be a negative slope. So second y, 30, minus the first y, 180, over second x, 11, minus the first x, 1. And that gives us negative 150 over 11 minus 1 is 10, which is negative 15. So just as we predicted, the slope is negative because his number of friends are going down, just like the popcorn containers were. So now we have to label it with y per x. So that'd be friends per day. And then we usually go back to the problem to decide how to word it. What is this average rate of change of friends on Facebook? So we need to say some words that uh, mean negative. How about lost, losing? Number of friends is decreasing. So this person is called Arthur. So Arthur is losing. Don't use the negative 15. Just use 15. Arthur is losing 15 friends per day on Facebook. He must have done something really bad, huh? Okay, two more to go. Okay, let's go to our paper and cross off. So he was losing 15, so negative 15 friends per day. Okay, now we're going to talk about Pedro. Pedro on his fifth birthday. So what number should we use? Five. Sounds like a good one, right? So on his fifth birthday, because remember time, dates, things like that are usually X. Pedro was 42 inches tall. So this is his age. This is his inches, right? Inches. On his seventh birthday, he was 51 inches tall. So fifth birthday, 42. Seventh birthday, 51. So let's bring that information over. So 
So number 13. It's kind of hard to get everything on the screen at once, so bear with me here. So 13 is 5 and 42, 7 and 51. So this was his age in years, and this was his inches tall, let's just say. Okay, so they wanted the how fast was he growing. Isn't that the same thing as rate of change? How fast is he changing? How fast is he getting taller? Yeah. Okay, so let's figure out Pedro's growth rate, rate of change. So rate of change equals the second Y, 51, minus the fourth. <laughs> I'm starting to get tired. Second Y, 51, minus the first Y, 42, over the second X, 7, minus the first X, 5. So what is that? Is that 9, I believe? 51 minus 42 is 9. Yes, it is. So 9 over 2. And we're talking about how much he's growing per year. So saying he grew 9 half inch per year is not a good way to say it. So you should either use a mixed number or a decimal. Take your pick. I'm going to use because we don't usually say, oh, I grew 4.5 inches. We say, I grew 4.5 inches. And to do that again, you just do 9 fraction bar 2. That changes it to 4.5. Okay, now we have to do our y per x. So that would be inches per year. So Pedro grew... So grew is our word for, sorry, that's a bad grew, okay. Saying that it's positive, he didn't go down, he went up, so we're going to use the word grew. So Pedro grew by four and a half inches per year. Okay, we have about two minutes, so I'm going to do this last one quick so I don't have to make another video just for one problem. So I might have to stop it if I'm going too fast. So Jay Lynn's new car after two years, so time is always our X, two was worth $11,200. When the car was six years old, the value had dropped to 8100 so this is how old it was, years old, and this was dollars in value. Okay, so let's transfer that over. So number 14, two, 11,200, six, 8,100. And this was years old, and this was dollars value. Okay, so now we're ready to do our slope. So rate of change equals second Y, 8,100 minus the first Y. 11,200 over second x, 6 minus the first x, 2. So 8,100 minus 11,200, negative 3,100 over 4. So divide by 4, negative 775. And it's y per x. So that would be dollars per year. So since we're going to run out of time, I'm just going to say the sentence out loud. Jaylin's car is losing $11,200.